ignore the thing on my head. I hate my hair. Everything's not working. Everything is everything is dry. Everything is dry. Can we talk about not settling? Can we talk about not settling? Settling for less. We're not doing it. We're not doing it. We're not. Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, gentlemen. Who won it? Who, who won it? Which nigga little goon getting stool with the onion? Cool, right. Um, hold on a minute. My, my son is two months today. Man, this gonna cry still. Anyway, cool. Right, cool. Can I just say something, right? And I want to talk about, I want to talk to anybody who's going through the situation. Um, never, ever, 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 ever. These are full of milk. Really, stop it. Right, cool. Um, I never, ever, 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 ever ever um yeah don't just don't settle for less like i've been there done that do you know what it is it's really sad when you're a woman yeah when you're a woman you tell yourself and i'm not talking about every woman because some women just know from the get-go like this is not my portion in life i'm aiming higher but sometimes like when you're starting off you're young um you're seeing someone and they're doing the bare minimum and you're like yeah but you know he's got like he's nice to me and like you know he sends me good morning texts can you imagine the bare minimum minimum bare you're accepting as why you want to be with this person like i honestly believe that like anything um that's basic should just become basic like why are we saluting men for doing the bare minimum like that's what you should be doing it's like it's like wiping your bum should i applaud you for wiping your bum when you did a poo like it's what you should be doing sweetheart it doesn't make sense and i feel like um i've been there in a situation where i'm like you know i feel like this is the only only person that's going to really like me listen honey there was loads of guys after that do you know what i mean and they were looking for me and they wanted to get me they wanted to get to know me and it's not the die or be all that's not even saying it's not the be or end all Ria I don't know why I say sayings when I don't know I'm thirsty I don't know why I I bring in sayings when guys I'm drinking this because I'm starting to become wham and I'm starting to become very very thick and very very wide and I don't like it um yeah you're supposed to be with someone who makes you feel great about yourself someone that you can be yourself with and there's so many people who are in relationships where they can't be themselves can you imagine like i've heard of stories where this is absolutely diabolical to me and maybe because i'm a nasty human being who poos and farts and mum i didn't say fart i mean pass the wind sorry um I'm, I'm that person who's freely able to do these things and I do not believe in being with someone that um, makes you feel like you can't be yourself. Like, bro, if I've got wind in me back, why can't I just let one off? Like, we're normal human beings, obviously. Like, I'm not saying to freaking pass wind on the person's food, but you should be able to be free enough to be like that. Like, some people find it unhygienic or whatever the case is. But I don't believe that, like, if you've been with someone for five years, this is going off into a tantrum, but if you've been with someone for five, six years, seven years, yeah, why am I still holding my bum? Why am I still having to go and hide and poo? Like, it doesn't make any sense. Like, this, this is part of me. And I'm probably not even giving a proper good example, but you should be able able to be you know silly and quirky if you're a quirky person and you joke a lot and there's banter you should be able to be that person you shouldn't be able to yee hee you shouldn't have to hold back on what you want to say to um for this person because if you're looking to be with someone long term and some people don't some people just like the thrill for the grill um then you should be able to be free and I think sometimes people settle and just think yeah you know it's all right for now like I'm all right you know but to me it's like we should be growing as a couple we should be doing things while we don't have kids or even while we have kids we should be getting to know each other freely and credibly like I just don't get why you would want to settle for less like I always believe that like in yourself, you always want to drive to do better. No, no, is that not, is that not it? Like we all want to drive, strive to do better. So why are you not striving to do better in your relationships? Why? And then what happens is six years, seven years come down, come to she, six, seven years come and you're like, yeah, like we actually haven't done anything grown as a couple yet. 
um, and you know, we're supposed to be growing and I'm not necessarily saying being engaged or getting married or having kids because those are all like milestones that people see as validation in a relationship. No sweetheart, you can be with someone for 10 years and not want to be engaged. Do your thing, honey. But are you growing as people? Like from when you were 16, you're now 26. You see that quick maths? Um, you've been together for 10 years, yeah? What have we done from being 16 to 26 together as a whole? Like, are we striving to be great? Or are we just settling for the buy all of the free free? Are we just settling just to settle? Because I feel like we only have one life. One life only. It's one night only. We only have one life and just making the most of it is so important. Like, I feel like people are in relationships and they're like, oh, I want to go on holiday, but you know, my partner doesn't, um, go and do that yourself. There's going to be, there's always going to be someone out there who will do what your partner's not doing. Sorry, not sorry. There's always someone who will offer you more. There's always someone who will just do it for you. Like, honey, sissy, sissy child, just stop. And just stop telling all your friends your business. That's another thing, really random, but stop telling all your friends all the negative and all the hash puppy <laughs> and all the stupidness that happens in your relationship. And then when your friends don't want you to be with him, you're shocked. Like, come on, bro, think about what you're doing. Um, don't get me wrong, some people like just to settle. Some people just settle in anything in life. Like, they'll be in a job and they'll know that they can do better, but they're like, this is all right. Like, I like to be comfortable. And that to me is fear, F-E-A-R-R-A-E-F. You know what I mean? Fear, the fear of the unknown, fear of, am I gonna be able to succeed? Am I gonna be able to find someone? Some people don't like to be single as well. Like, you have to be single. You have to take time out for yourself because, when you're jumping from relationship to relationship, you're just feeding yourself into different men or different women and you haven't had time to check in with yourself. People don't check in with themselves. You wanna be checking in to Flippin' Hilton, but you're not checking in with yourself. It doesn't make sense. Make it make sense. I'm gonna go because I need to wash my hair. No, I don't need to wash my hair, I'm a liar. I need to go because the baby might be waking up and I need to prepare myself for that, you know? But guys, please let me know what you wanna see. Um, I really wish that my life was interesting so I could do Vlogmas. Um, because I love Vlogmas. Like, I like watching people's Vlogmas. But what does mans do? Like, I don't do nothing. Like, I don't do nothing interesting. I don't know what this is. I just don't know. But I feel like I'm so happy to be back, you know. Um, this is a top on my head, as you guys can see. It's very, 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 very long. And I'm going for Erica Batu. Erica Batu. Not Badu. Patu. Um... If we just push that up there. Um, I'm having midlife crisis with my hair. I'm just looking like a freaking Maltese. I just look so round. Like, I just need to stop eating. Like, stop eating rubbish. Can anyone else relate? Like, it's winter time and I'm like, yeah, go on, pop a croissant in. Why? Why? We put it down, you're getting round. Like, I've been putting things on and it's tight. They're tight now. But when will I stop? That is the question. Find out next week on Dragon Ball Z. See you later. I don't know what I do. Okay, I'm reloading.